guys it's King Gary. Today we're going to continue our portal playthrough. So where we left off is I just beat in the after science 1960s. So let's go let's continue on. Hello. Oh that's a giant sphere. What's all that? Pump station beta. Let's go over the well, Hello Pump Station Alpha. Pretty big pump station. I would love to be, I'd love to be in a pump station. Awesome. Boom. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely use one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now, you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make 60 dollars? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Uh, anyway, don't smudge uh, up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test related. Pretty big ship building, Doc. They're working on it. Alright, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Okay. The average human male is about 60% water. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may I'm turn your blood into peanuts. peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to get us, so hang in there. Woo! Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Pretty orange colors. 
Help it, you cougars! We do what we must. Amateur science innovators. They do what they must. They do what they must. Because they can. For the pugs, a pug of us. Except the pugs who are dead. Nope. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? GLaDOS, don't fry the potato. Pretty jealous. Let's do this. Hit the red button. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Six bucks. Murdered my entire face. Over again. <sighs> Fuck. 
If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Shut up and take my money. Station stuff freaking working. I'm going to test it here. He should be paying me. Me, 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 me. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering oh, your way thanks. through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carol and one of these people lie. Tattered ass, beard, dirt, dirt, dirt. I'd buy tattered hats. Carolyn, and Carolyn, dirt. Carolyn, why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Carolyn. 
and yep. Test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. I might give you lemons, make on me. <laughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life. Take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rule the, rule day. the day. It thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Yes. Point is, if we can store life. music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence we should have been working on 30 years ago. But I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. I don't want to make now, her. my computer, I don't care. Uh, All right, test's over. Put Carolyn. You can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir.
Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. Uh see you in part six. Pizza time! Bye bye.